and the difference between drawing and painting. And uh, I think it's been blurred over the years, the difference between drawing and painting. But, and uh, when I was first learning you know, from David, I remember him telling me that, that they were very, very different. And I you know, accepted it and everything, but I didn't really see it. You know? And it was actually quite a few years into learning it that I actually saw how profoundly different they are. So in drawing, the, the language is a linear language. So it's a line, line. So drawing is line. And the reason you do certain things in drawing and you don't do those things in painting is because of the distance that you look at it. I mean, that's really what it's all about. If we only, only saw, expected to see paintings from close up, then they would be the same language as painting, I mean, as drawing. But because drawing, you see it up close, you can, we're trying to make form, right? So that's one of the big differences. So you're making form in both of the languages. But in drawing, you're modeling form darker to an edge in order to create form. But in painting, because the whole reason for painting and one of its basic things in terms of the language is distance. Because, you know, you want to be able to captivate somebody from across the street looking in the gallery window. You want to, uh, uh, somebody walks in the room and you want to the, capture them from a distance. It's always distance first, you know. Um, and it, that's how it originated because it was, you know, the churches. The churches, you know, would commission the paintings and they were, you know, the person in the back pew had to be able to see what that painting was. And the kings and queens commissioned it, and you had to be able to see it from if you've been in those, you know, huge, you know, you know, rooms. I know they're like 300 feet across or 500 feet across. They're just enormous. So you had had to be able to make this read. So that became the problem. Like, how do we make form, but make it so you can read it from a distance? Well, if you model stuff and try to make form by modeling it, it doesn't read very well from a distance. So what you have to do is you have to make a flat shape. You know, so, you know, um, i.e., that's why posters are, that term even comes, you know, from a poster because for posters to read, the images have to be flat, you know. So, um, you know, you look at the Toulouse-Lautrec, you know, posters, they're all flat, flat graphic. They're Large graphic. Large masses of color. Large masses, yeah. Mm -hmm. Very graphic. So that is the basis of the language in painting, is, is being um, graphic, being graphic. Because, Sherry, if you model 